Okay, now we're going to talk about the missing chapter. The missing chapter includes things that I think should be in the book that aren't in the book, um, sometimes because I think the author missed them, other times because they're just simply hard to describe in a book setting, and um, they're really things that we usually discuss in class when I ha teach this class in a classroom setting. and. Um, I actually find them a little hard to talk about on a video here because um, it's it's easier where there's more interaction between us and where it's fast and quick interaction as opposed to the type of interaction you get in um, um, in online forms or something like that. In any case, I want to just mention a few things about life as a systems administrator. I'm sure I've talked about that this in. Uh, in the past, in the uh, um, as the course has gone on, but I want to say that um, being a systems administrator is a good job. I I enjoy it. Um, there are several types of systems administrators. Um, we categorize these jobs and pinpoint them, but actually, when you're working on a job, um, I find that it, you know you're not a uh, third class, tier one, step five programmer, uh, but you know, you're just one of the guys they hire to get the job done, so you do whatever it takes, and part of your job is systems administration, and part of it's this, and part of it's that. Um, but in general, there are systems administrators, people who are hired. Um, that may be hired as a complete systems administrator in, in the sense that they're hired to be the systems administrator for a company or a, an agency, and they're hired to look after the company's computers. Maybe they're looked, hired to look after all the company's computers, their Unix machines, their Windows machines, their um, machines that who knows what operating systems on them, the firewalls, the routers, the uh, Palm Pilots that everybody carries around with them, the cell phones, um, maybe the telephone system. Um, um, that That is common uh, to have one person or a small group of people in a bigger company that take care of all of those devices. Um, Another uh, category or type of, of sysadmin is the person that actually just has to look after the Unix systems. Um, a lot of universities, university computer centers will have enough Unix systems that they will have one or two people that just look after the Unix systems. Um, a lot of government agencies have this. Um, as I said, universities, a lot of companies will have that. And certainly, internet type companies will often have a person whose job is just to look after their servers. Uh, Google probably has hundreds of people whose job is just to look after the servers, uh, maybe even thousands, uh, since they have hundreds of thousands of servers or something like that, all of which are running. Linux or, or some sort of Unix, so you know, takes a lot of Unix sysadmins. Um, and um, another type of job or another type of Unix sysadmin are the people who are part time Unix sysadmins, and that's usually the role that I've played. Not always, I've been a full time Unix sysadmin. But I've often been a sysadmin where that's just part of my job. They need a programmer. They need a, maybe a mathematician, a scientific programmer. And they have maybe six or a dozen Unix servers. And part of the job is taking care of those. Or Unix workstations on people's desk. And part of the job is taking care of those. In the scientific environment, it's really common that um, um, you'll have a programmer, part of his job is taking care of the computers in the back room. Maybe there's a small cluster of four or eight machines put together as one 
little tiny supercomputer, and maybe a couple servers for file servers, database servers, and a web server. And uh, all of those will be Linux or Unix of some sort. Um, and your own desk. And then each user probably takes care of their own desktop, because most users want a desktop environment that fits them. Some of those will be running Sun workstations. Some of them may be running Windows machines. Uh, the guy sitting next to him is running a Linux machine. Um, and they often will take care of their own machines for the most part, maybe with a little help from the quote unquote systems administrator, um, whose job also is to be there, uh, you know, to be a scientific programmer or so people's jobs kind of overlap. And um, that way, if one person would disappear in the middle of the night forever, um, it, 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 it it's easier to fill in for him uh, or her. But um, uh, but nobody is real specialized. Um, they do have their specialties, but but they brought they spread out. They're broader than just their specialty. Um, another sort of Unix sysadmin or sysadmin is what I call the consulting admin or the consultant. Uh, a lot of small companies cannot afford to have a computer person, but they like to have somebody on call all the time. And there's a lot of people, a lot of my friends make a business off of doing consulting, and most of their job is sysadmin jobs, installing various hardware, looking out after people's back end, um, um, their back room computers, um, making, um, um, maybe working with the Windows machines, or maybe the person's got another consultant that does the Windows stuff, often making a lot of recommendations on, you've got a problem. This is a way of solving it. This is an inexpensive way of solving it. Um, and, and, and then a consultant like that will have quite a group of companies that they consult for. And some of these consulting firms are just um, small ones. I've got a friend, calldale.com, I believe is his uh, URL. And Dale has a sm uh, collection of companies that he services, um, all their computer needs, a collection of small companies. Um, I worked for a company where we had 20, 25 employees. Uh, I was kind of their, we had two people that were their Unix people. I was one of them. And uh, we had, um, and then we had several Windows people, and um, and uh, we serviced the needs of a lot of small companies around Portland, especially legal firms and uh, accounting firms, um, and um, would take care of whatever they needed. We did very very little programming. I was the only. Well, we had two programmers in the company, and we did do some programming, but. Um, um, but that actually neither of us spent the majority of our time doing programming, and none of the other people did any programming. So that was a minor part of our business. Um, one thing systems administrators do is they spend a lot of time, as well as just running the computers, they spend a lot of time working, making recommendations, uh, sometimes doing purchasing. Uh, trying to find best prices, um, trying to come up with new ways of solving problems. You know, what printer should we buy? Do we need to buy printers? Or is it better to outsource that to another shop? Um, especially if it's an expensive printer, you may be going around, or like, you know, $100,000 printer, you may be going around taking bids trying to find somebody else <laughs> or trying to convince somebody else <laughs> that they want to do your printing for you um, um, or your scanning or, you know, what have you. Um, and um, so that is the type of thing that, that sysadmins do. Um, let's see if there's anything else I want to talk about here um, before we move on to ethics. I think um, I think we've pretty much covered it. I, it's a lot of fun being a Unix sysadmin or any sort of sysadmin. It does take, I've always thought it took a lot of the same 
the same style of thinking that being a programmer takes, which is really cool. It's, you know, um, analytic and mathematical and analytic and 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 I I like that I enjoy it on the other hand as opposed to being a programmer it's much more of a multitasking job you're always trying to you know do I do this first do I do that first both of these things have to be done I've got 14 other things have to be done I'd better make backup sometime or else I'm going to be in deep trouble if the system ever does break I've got you know I, a lot of stuff to juggle, and an awful lot of these things deal with people. Uh, programmers, you deal with pro good programmers deal with people, and they deal with people some. They're not living a totally isolated life, although they may be living a totally isolated life for periods of time. Um, whereas a sysadmin, by and large, is always out dealing with his user base and his, you know, uh, his managers or her managers, her user base. Um, 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 you're always dealing with people. It's a very much a people-oriented job. It's a technical job, but it's a technical, uh, it's a people-oriented technical job, and uh, and that's what's cool because I. I because I like people. One of the, I was trained as a mathematician. I've done mathematics. I love mathematics, but one of the drawbacks to mathematics is that there's a real sense of isolation in mathematics. I, mathematics is a solitary endeavor, and um, and and that is one of its drawbacks. That's one of the things I do not like about the field. Other, you know, it's a cool field, but. But that's one of the things I don't like about it. And systems systems administration is like involves many of the same skills along with a lot of the people things. So um, it really is a cool field to work in. But it, like any field, it's um, it's got to suit the individual. Never do a job that you're not suited for because you're not going to do a good job that way. Um, and you know you've got a <clears throat> it's got to be a good match a, a good um, yeah a good match and um, for me it is I do like being a systems administrator I also like teaching which is I suppose similar in a way anyway I'm going to end this video right now and then on the next video I'll move on to talk about ethics thank you bye bye